my kitchen and um, I wanted to clear out my cleaning cupboard so I thought it'd be fun if I came on here and I showed you some of my cleaning stuff kind of like what's inside Hayley's cleaning cupboard dun, 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 dun. like a game show but not I'm just showing you things that are in my cleaning cupboard because it's got like a bit messy over Christmas you might all think it doesn't look messy but it is messy because nothing's in its right place because I over Christmas like Robbie the Ranger my husband was here and I'm like can you go and get me this can you go and get me that and then he brings it up to me and then I'm like can you go and put it back can you go and do this and then he puts it back in the wrong place and that's my fault because I shouldn't ask him to help me but I do because I just want him to feel part of the cleaning process Okay, so first things first, what I need to do before I start cleaning out my cupboard, I obviously need to remove everything. Like, and I know what you're all thinking, come on Hayley, we're not silly like you, we all know that you need to remove something before you clean it. Well that's wrong, because I've seen many people who just do like the bits that they see, so they're like, oh look, there's a gap there, that's where I need to clean, and it's like, no, you need to move it all so you can get underneath it. And the same applies in your kitchen, like, or the rest of your house, I'm constantly moving things. So, like, my microwave would be one side of the kitchen and then it moves to the other. Just because I like to change things and also, I feel like once you move it, you can clean under there properly. So when you clean, you should move your, like, kettle, toaster, microwave. You don't have to move it to a new position like I do every time, but you should definitely move it so you can clean underneath it as well. Okay, so... Start removing all the stuff from um, your cupboard, which I'm going to do now. Um, and I'll show you some bits that I've got. I've got this in there, which is flash. This is um, the lemon flavoured flash. I always have this in my cupboard because um, it's really good for like washing down the work surfaces or your like cupboard doors and stuff. And like sometimes if I've already used like so much bleach I like to just change it up a bit and then like also I worry sometimes that maybe I'm using so much bleach that actually the germs become immune to it you know like you know like antibiotics you're not meant to take them all the time imagine if the germs become immune to the bleach so I like to change things sometimes throughout the day so I always have this in my cupboard which is like I said it's the flash clean and shine it's crisp lemon flavour and it's um, an all purpose cleaner so what I like to do with this is I fill my sink up with it and then I put boiling water in and I wear my um, rubber gloves because they're um, the ones that I get anyway are heat proof so check first don't just start putting your hands in boiling water because that would be a tragedy waiting to happen <laughs> um, and it's really nice to use on like your cupboards, your work surfaces, you can also use it on the floor. I tend to not use it on my floors though, but the rest of the house is really good. Um, and you can use this as well to clean the insides of your cupboards if you choose. So that's what I've got in my cupboard. Um, I also have a variety of um, fabric conditioners. The reason I have so many fabric conditioners is, so I've got this one here which is um, the Lenore Spring Awakening. I love anything in a blue flavour. If it's blue flavour, I'm definitely, definitely going to like it. There are a few exceptions though and I'll show you those along the way. But normally blue flavour, I really like. I just call it blue flavour, not because it actually is flavoured blue. It's just what I call it. Don't drink these because you'll get sick. They're not a milkshake, like, I just call it blue flavour. Um, so I've got these in there as well. I've got the Lenore um, blue flavour one. And I've also got, um, I've got this one, Comfort Creations. This is a blue flavour. This is more pink and purple flavour. But I bought it because it's called Cherry Blossom and Sweet Pea. And I call people Sweet Pea all the time. So I thought maybe it was like a sign that I should get it. Because I, I will often be like, oh, hi, Sweet Pea. Or any of you that chat with me on like Facebook, on my Facebook page or like um, Instagram or Twitter. Like I quite often like to use Pop It or Pickle or Treasure or Dull or Dull Face or Dull. I like a pet name for people, that's all. Because it just makes it feel like we're almost like a little family rather than people that haven't met before. So um, I bought this 
for that reason because it said sweet pea on it turns out i don't like the smell of this flavor it's not for me i washed my clothes with it and i've not used it again because i don't particularly like it sorry those who do you you could give it a try you might like it it's different flavors for different noses isn't it i don't really like it though um this is another one as well that i bought blue flavor again it's the comfort intense again I don't really like this one, it just doesn't, it doesn't make me happy inside, that's all. But again, you might like it, so it is definitely worth a punt, especially if it's on offer. If it's on offer, then um, you can clear your cupboard out with me and free up loads of space to buy more cleaning stuff. Um, I've then got my um, dishwasher powders and rinse aid. So they're good. Oh, these are really good. I love these. So I don't know whether you guys have seen these before. So these are by a company called um, Auto Finesse. The clue's in the name. It's actually car cleaner, but I do use this around my home. So the glass cleaner, her name is Crystal, and she is really good. She gives a lovely shine. Crystal does. Well done. Um, and I've got these because I love the bottles they come in and they also actually are really good um, Then this is just an interior one. So you can use these in your car as well They're actually meant for your car, but like I said, I, I tend to use them around my home a lot um, So that's an interior clean one as well um, Then that's another interior clean one but in pink and um, this one is a leather cleaner so um, this is really good if you've got leather sofas to use it on your leather sofas as well just because it's by auto finesse doesn't mean you have to use it in your car you can use it on both because it is a leather cleaner so um, I then have a oven cleaner this is a Mr Muscle one um, this is quite good if you're using it on like um, this is more for like I like to use this as a quick spray, so I tend to use Oven Pride um, in my oven, um, but that's more like an overnight kind of job. This is more like if I just want to give it a quick wipe through, then use this. Make sure you've got a door open, it open though, because I'm not going to lie. When I first started using this, I honestly felt like my esophagus had fallen out. It was so strong, like it does warn you on the bottle, I probably should have read properly. But I literally was like, something has happened to my esophagus. I cannot breathe in my kitchen right now. And then I was like choking on the fumes and then I opened the door and it was fine. So just make sure that you've got like a well ventilated area. Safety first. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got my bleach, obviously. Again, blue flavour. Um, and... There's a few other bits in here. I won't talk you through all of it because it will take so long. I've got so many things and I've, this is just the top shelf that I've started doing. That's the leather conditioner, again by Auto Finesse. Uh, lime scale remover. This is, this is Paul Chemicals. This is for my Lazy Spa. Um, I'm going to do a vlog on the Lazy Spa nearer to summer because, um, I'm going to show you how to clean it, those of you that got one, and those of you that haven't got a lazy spa, then I'm going to speak to you about why it is the best thing that I've ever had in my home over the summer. I literally did not see my kids the whole of the summer, and they had so much fun, like, they didn't whine, they didn't moan, and we never went on holiday either, because, like, it's so expensive, um, and it is, like, a brilliant investment piece in my opinion but I'll do a vlog on that later down the line uh, these are these again are different leather cleaners so um, these are by a company called Howard um, I think Howard is an American based company you can get the products in the UK but I think they're American based those of you that might know please let me know in the comments box I'm sure they are American well, it does say, although it says made in the USA, doesn't actually say, but I think it is. Howard Products, let me know in the comments, guys, whether this is UK or American. I think they are American, though. 
Um, but I really like the Howard's product stuff. Like they do like a lemon oil spray, which I've got here. This is um, the lemon oil one. It's mainly for like woods. Um, and then I've done a vlog before about the orange oil that they do, which is here. Um, and this is brilliant. Um, so it says on the bottle it removes grease, grime and accumulated dirt. So this is really good. Um, I put this on my sponges and then I blast them in the oven, um, in the microwave, sorry. Don't put them in the oven. <laughs> in the microwave um, for a couple of minutes and it kills any germs or bacteria on your kitchen sponge so and your whole um kitchen will smell like oranges and who doesn't love an orange after all until sunny d went and ruined it for everyone and we found out that sunny d was not so good for you and it was making people sick as you like have to try tropicana now don't we thanks sunny delight um Okay, so another thing I've got in here that I really like as well is this. This is um, this is actually meant for toilets, but I don't use it in the bathroom at all because um, I just don't like the idea of putting a brush down the toilet. I just think it's unsanitary and I don't know who invented it, but I think it's not a nice invention. You can use like a glove and a sponge and then just throw the glove and sponge away because... I just think it's unhygienic having a toilet brush just kicking around your house. But um, this is meant for the toilets to go under the rim. But I actually use this um, for skirting boards. So I fill this little pot that it comes in. You can pop it in like that. And I fill it um, up with a little bit of bleach and a little bit of water. But you can put in there um, either the all-purpose um, solution with water. Or you can just use some um, washing up liquid. Or you can just use water if you just don't like to use cleaning products then and but you want to get rid of the dust dust won't go unless it's if it's not wet you're just scattering it everywhere else so you may as well like wetting it down a bit but this is really good for the skirting boards so the little crevices in the skirting boards if you just scrub it with this it gets all inside there and there's a nifty little pot that it sits in so that's really good as well that's why better wear um and i have a hob cleaner here which is um, by Oven Pride. Um, I've got some more Howard um, stuff here. I also have these, um, these are my bottles. They're antibacterial ones and I, I keep them because I refill them with bleach. So I do half bleach and then half water and it makes a really good um, bleach spray. So rather than actually going out and buying a bleach spray, I just rather buy the like, um, these bottles of bleach and then just fill up my pots as I go along and then use it for the toilets and the bath and the kitchen surfaces and the floors and wherever else I can throw the bleach at. Um, all the rest of these are, I've got so many spray bottles like here's some more, um, oh, this is ridiculous, I've got quite a collection going haven't I? Um, oh, this is another thing that I love as well. This is the Detail Disinfectant Spray. It kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria in and around the home. And anything that says that on it, I literally am a sucker for. So instantly, like, something goes off in my head and I'm like, oh, that's got my name written all over it. It may as well say, this is for Hayley. And then I just buy it. So, But I do really like this. I, I use this on my... Um, kitchen handles so you don't need to wipe it off i spray it on the kitchen handles and places that harbor a lot of bacteria so you it's something you can easily go around your house with um and just give it a quick spray you just go down like that and that's all you need to do and then just leave it and it would have killed 99.9 percent .9 of all bacteria in and around the home and it's really good to use on um on the toilet in your bathroom or where your toilet is on the door handles there as well spray it on those spray it on the rest of the door handles around your house because they're the things that people will touch a lot so anything that people touch a lot obviously then spray it on there like my sink taps as well I like to spray it on there um, and it's really good just for using around the house like it smells really nice as well so sometimes I just use it as an air freshener and spray it in the air and I know that the air has been sterilised as well it's literally in my house it's like a little pocket of sterilness <laughs> um, and I've got a 
few other bits down here, but it's just going to take me ages to show you. I'll show you one last thing that I did really love, and then I'm sad because I can't use it anymore. It's this. This is um, the pink flavoured Sif. And um, the reason I'm sad because I can't use it anymore is because I um, read something saying that um, the, there's, like, there's like beads inside it. And apparently, like, the beads, like, wash through to the ocean and, like, they harm, like, sea animals, like, um, like, jellyfish or, like, a lobster. And, like, they really injure them. So you shouldn't really use this because it's got beads in it. So things like this, I'm going to throw away while I'm doing my clear out because although there is still some left, I just don't like the idea that I'm, like, harming fish or sea mammals and I don't even really like fish either but I still am like I have got conscience and I can't bear the thought of a turtle suffering it's ever since I watched Finding Nemo and Finding Dory it just literally pulls on my heartstrings so I'll put that to one side so I can go in the bin. Okay, so I'm just going to show you these real quick as well. This is another thing that I've got in my kitchen cleaning cupboard. These are um, nifty little tools. They're by a company called Oxo. Um, and they are really, really good. I love them. So this I use on my hob. So this bit scratches like, it's like a um, curved end. And it scratches off any burnt on food. So that's really tough to get off. So you can use that end. And then flip it over and you can use the scrubbing brush end. And then um, there's another one here. This is just a smaller version. But this has got the pointy end. It kind of looks like a lipstick. But it isn't a lipstick. It is rubber. So don't. I think it's a lipstick, it's not. Um, and um, this is just a little um, glass wiper. So once you sprayed on the glass, you can just use this and it takes off the liquid. Um, and I've got a few different ones in there, but um, give them a look. They're by Oxo um, and I love these, hence why they're in my cleaning cupboard. Um, and that is about it for now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to crack on and wipe the inside of the cupboard down so to do this what i use is a microfiber cloth so i've got one of those here and then also if i can find it i've now literally taken everything out of the cupboard okay so here it is so this is my bleach spray um, that I spoke about earlier, I like to make these up and I will just literally spray this inside the cupboard and then I can wipe it down with the microfiber cloth just to get any sticky residue off the actual shelves themselves and then once I've done that I will use um, my Dettol spray that I showed you and just spray it over, you don't need to wipe this off just spray it in and it will make the cupboard smell nice but it will also sterilise anything that maybe should have been in there I'm pretty sure this cupboard's quite safe though because it's just all my cleaning stuff there's no food or anything in there but that's a really good thing to do in your cupboards that do have food um, it's down to you whether you want to use the bleach spray or not I know some people get a bit like funny about um, putting bleach where you're putting food but I, I would say as a rule of thumb if it's like tin stuff I reckon you're okay um, perhaps in the fridge maybe not I do but that's just my choice I'm not advising anyone else to it's totally down to you if you are using um, bleach wherever you're using it just make sure that you clean it off properly um, and you're using it sensibly Feel like it's great responsibility the fact that I'm doing these vlogs and telling you what to do so I don't want anyone getting sick um, so once you've done that what you can do is just let the um, spray dry it will dry quite quickly and you can then go ahead and start loading all your things back into your cupboard I like to put mine in sections so any any bottle sprays like that I like them to be together and I like them to be because like who doesn't like a friend 
Um, and I like them to be um, put in the same kind of um, category. So any kind of bathroom stuff. So like this is like a daily shower spray. So that would go kind of in the bathroom section with all the other bathroom stuff. And I would just start loading them up like that. Um, and yeah, that is exactly how I do my cupboards. That's how I clean them out. Um, I am going to be doing the rest of my kitchen cupboards um, eventually. So I might hop back on here and show you um, when I'm doing like the tinned cupboards. Thanks so much guys for watching my vlog. I'll be back again tomorrow. What I'm going to do is I'll add um, some of the stuff that I've shown you in the description box. Anything that I haven't added, you can um, send me a comment and I'll make sure I reply to you and let you know um, what it is or where I got it from if I can and don't forget to let me know in the comment box about Howard is it UK is it American what company is it let's find out a bit more about Howard because he sounds like a wonderful guy thanks for watching see ya